Hi there, this is David at Winco ID, and this um, little video is part of a series that I'm doing on barcodes and barcode standards. And this particular one, as you can see here, is on code 39, which is a very common barcode. If you're using barcodes at all, you've probably used this already. But um, I just want to go over some of the details and a little bit of the history of this. And this was actually developed by our good friends at Intermec way, way, way back in 1974. And it was part of a challenge that was really laid down by the Boeing company who needed to be able to identify parts that were being used in the planes they built. And as part of that, um, Code 39 was produced. And originally, it was printed using Intermec rotating drum printers, whereas nowadays it's far more likely to be printed using um, label software, like the bartender software I'm using here, or barcode fonts in Windows applications or, or, something, or something like that. The name Code 39 came from the fact that the code could encode a total of 40 characters and 39 of those were available to be used by the users with the final one, the asterisk character, was reserved as the start and stop character. Um, you can actually see that I'm printing the start and stop characters in the example I have on the screen here. And these are the characters that can actually be printed in Code 39. I borrowed this from Wikipedia. And if you happen to count all the characters, you'll see that there's more than um, a total of 40 characters there. And that's because some were added a little bit later on, The some of the punctuation and special characters that are at the bottom here. There's also um, more recently been developed a full ASCII version of Code 39. In this case, um, it uses exactly the same encoding for the 40 characters and the rest of the ASCII character set, the, to make the total of 128, are made up by using combinations of pairs of the existing characters. So if I open up my preferences for Code 39 here, which hopefully it will at some, at some point, Okay, it's going to the, go into the properties. And these in um, using Bartender, these are the preferences that, that I have for here. And you can see I'm using the regular code 39 here rather than the full, the full ASCII. And the uh, first thing I do is I set the size. And the X dimension is actually the um, width of the smallest bar. And you can see in the code that it's made of a series of thin bars and thick bars. So in this case, 13.33 mils or um, 13, just over 13 thousandths of an inch is the um, size of the bar. And I can adjust the code size now down to 10 to 10 mils, um, down to 6.66 mils. And the reason it's jumping in steps like this is that the printer I have selected is a 300 dpi printer. So these steps for the barcode sizes are all in steps of 1 300th of an inch and Bartender tells me the density of the characters here, how many characters I can encode in each inch of, of barcode. Okay, so if I look a little bit further down here in these um, specific options, you can see that I have the asterisk as both the start and the stop character. Um, Bartender actually gives me the opportunity to turn those off if I want to, and you'll see that the code gets a little bit smaller when I do that it's usually not a good idea to do that because if you do that then the um, code is almost certainly not going to read anymore so make sure you have those um, there if you're if you're designing labels with this and in the human readable um, I have the option to show or not show these start and stop characters and I'm going to turn that off there and if I close that you'll see that this is probably what we n more normally see although it's also not uncommon to see code 39's printed with the asterisk um, there. A very useful barcode, it's used for a lot of applications for um, product identification, serial numbers. If you get involved in any of the Department of Defense specs, the more standard 129 and 130, they both call out um, code 39 for linear barcodes. And one of the really good things with code 39 is that just about every barcode scanner can read it out of the box. Um, I actually read them. If I need to read one quickly, I usually reach for my iPhone because I have an, an iPhone app that reads code 39 very, very happily. Um, personally, given the choice, I would always use code 128 rather than 39. And the 
reason for that, if I go into the barcode properties and I'm going to change the symbology to code 128, you'll see immediately that the amount of label, the width of the label that the barcode takes up is reduced um, quite a lot. Let me change this back to 1 to code 39. Okay, see how it jumps in, jumps in width there, going to code 39. Um, code 128 is um, a higher density code, and for the same um, X dimension, it actually takes up less space. But um, fact of life, there are a lot of specifications ask for code 39. Every barcode scanner can use it, so it's still a very useful thing to have in our arsenal of um, barcodes if we're in the barcode business. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching and watch out for more on other types of barcodes and barcode standards. Thanks a lot.